Get ready to buckle up for an extraordinary journey that's about to take a wild turn. With her hair swirling in a kaleidoscope of colors, Mrs. Frizzle announces, Fasten your seatbelts, class. Today, we're diving into the world of farm animals. The bus fills with the excited buzz of students, their anticipation palpable as the bus rumbles down the familiar road. Without warning, the bus lurches. Mrs. Frizzle, cool as a cucumber, grips the wheel, cheerfully attributing the jolt to a little bump on the agricultural road. But this bump turns into a leap, and when the bus comes to a halt, the view through the window leaves the students wide-eyed. Farms and fields have vanished, replaced by towering trees and woven branch houses. A timid gasp escapes Emily, her bright red glasses reflecting the new surroundings. Where are we? She wonders aloud. The reply comes not from her classmates, but a dapper squirrel sporting a top hat. Welcome, humans, to Anima Zoo, he squeaks in a posh voice. I'm Mr. Pinochle, and it appears you've taken a wrong turn. The bus fills with gasps and whispers. Talking animals, it's a surprise no one saw coming. But Mrs. Frizzle, the eternal explorer, simply smiles. A wrong turn can lead to the right adventure, wouldn't you say, class? Mr. Pinochle, intrigued by her enthusiasm, offers a tour. As they step off the bus, they enter a bustling world of wise old owls, nervous rabbits, and fox families running bakeries. Even the shy Max finds himself laughing at playful otters performing synchronized diving tricks, while Emily cautiously sips dandelion tea offered by a gentle deer. They meet Mr. Grumbles, a grumpy goat who guards a field. No humans allowed, he grunts. But Mrs. Frizzle, ever the diplomat, soon has him giggling at silly limericks, and the class follows suit. As the sun sets, casting long shadows through the trees, it's time to return home. Touched by their respect for his world, Mr. Pinochle gifts each student a shimmering feather, a reminder that even the most ordinary journey can lead to extraordinary experiences. Back in their familiar classroom, everything looks the same, but the feathers glinting in the sunlight serve as magical reminders of their unexpected field trip. Animazu and its talking animals will forever be etched in their memories. The next day, during show and tell, Emily presents a drawing of a squirrel in a top hat. Max shares a poem about otters. The classroom buzzes with stories of their unforgettable journey. Mrs. Frizzle, with a twinkle in her eye, sums it up. Sometimes the best lessons come from the most unexpected places and even a wrong turn can lead to a magical adventure.